Hey, welcome to the Ranger Rob channel with Rob and Sherry. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Good morning everyone from Central Oregon. I'm Ranger Rob. It's Monday and uh, it's a beautiful day. It's kind of funny, I've been watching the birds from the window. They love to use this for uh, taking baths. The only problem is occasionally they'll come up too fast and run into the windows. So uh, hopefully we don't have any <laughs> bird, knocked out birds over here. But anyway, uh, today I thought I'd show you how far we've gotten on the chicken pen. And then I want to show you a new flower that's popping up here. Um, so yesterday this is what it looked like. And here's one that's bloomed already. It's really pretty. I don't really know the names of it. I'll find out. But if you know what it is, leave a name in the comments. But uh, yeah, it's a really, real pretty flower. And my little veggies here. I don't know if they're doing so good. Uh, this is my zucchini. And all I get is male flowers. I haven't seen any females come out yet. So hopefully, maybe in a couple more days, I'll see a zucchini. But uh, this has not been a good spot to put any uh, zucchini at all. So, oh well. Let's take a look at the tomatoes and then we'll take a look at the chicken pan. So I'm now in front of the house. And uh, I thought it'd be kind of interesting to put some tomato plants out here um, along with this beautiful vining bush which looks really cool when the lights are on at night anyway but believe it or not I'm actually getting tomatoes so here's a few here a here 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 um, there's about five of them and then this other tomato plant once again I decided to see how well it'll do it's thriving and then once again it's getting lots of tomatoes you can see one down in here. Some babies coming right here, right here, all along here. And uh, yeah, so it looks like I actually might get some tomatoes. So uh, kind of unexpected, but we don't have our gardens in yet. Uh, I will be cutting the gardens pretty soon. Uh, fertilizing them a little bit uh, do an addition to the, the soil and then we're going to cover it for the winter and uh, hopefully be all ready by next year but I've got to get the tractor out I've got a lot of work to do on that but let's go uh, take a look at the chicken pen because some we've actually got some things done so here we go let's go check it out all right guys we're out at the chicken pen if I see some differences got a lock on the door now we got all of our chicken wire up. Uh, we've been using brand new chicken wire and some old chicken wire. Uh, so pretty much the whole chicken pen is sealed up. And uh, here we used a six foot uh, width roll of 50 feet. Fit the whole thing almost perfect. So uh, we're pretty happy with that. Used a lot of ties. And uh, so we're ready to go. But here's the most exciting part is that's the chicken coop but we've been chick working on the chicken house we finally got the doors on the nesting boxes now I have stuff in here because we're still working but we wanted to make this easy to clean so now our chicken boxes are right here yeah there's a bunch of stuff on it but the other thing is these this lowers too flat so it's very easy to clean and uh, so very happy with that and uh, haven't got the back done yet and here's another view of the nesting boxes and once again the front part folds out we'll have clamps here today we're going to try to build believe it or not trellises and uh, put a nice little top on this we've ne I've never built a trellis before I think I got us in the sun here a little bit and we're starting to put our screens up here. Found out our staple gun 
uh, goes through the wood sticks out a little bit so we're gonna put a trim in here and then do this again and uh, we'll have a vent here here in the front door here and our front door will go only from here this will be solid there'll be a vent uh, we're gonna have a lift up um, door once again making it very easy to clean out this um, chicken house so uh, we're really close we're almost done and then uh, I'll put some automatic feeders in and uh, we'll be set to go and uh, our babies should be ready to come out here in about one to two weeks so we're kind of excited about that we're going to use hay not straw uh, we hear that that's much better for the chickens to scratch in find little things to eat and uh, so uh, we're going with hay so that's how far we've gotten so far I want to thank you very much for uh, uh, watching the channel please take the time to like and subscribe and yes Sherry will be in more of the videos in the future it's kind of early this morning she's been doing paperwork and uh, hopefully share our story a little bit with you how we got here and uh, this is uh, a hard project because we bought this house but it's full of stuff of her mother and father's we're trying to get it distributed um, and COVID is not helping and uh, then we have to have a estate sale to get their stuff out because Sherry and I are still living in boxes but we're getting by just fine um, at the same time fixing up the property because uh, in the last five years it just uh, they were just not able to take care of it so lots of stuff to do so please join our journey as we turn this into a Central Oregon homestead house getting more self-sufficient uh, it was something that we were studying a lot in Arizona before we came up here uh, growing our own food being self-reliant uh, having a source for water we do have our own well and how we're uh, getting ready to convert our well house to uh, switch over to generator when we need it so we can not only have water but to continue to water our gardens and stuff and uh, so yeah we got um, garden beds we're cleaning up uh, lots of work we got a garden uh, planting garden we need to cut get it prepared and then let it sit for the winter with plastic over it and then so we'll be ready in the spring and we're trying we kind of have a greenhouse already but um, we call it the garden a garden room um, but we'd like to get a greenhouse built too and some high towers so lots of things going on so please watch our channel subscribe like share our stuff join our family leave your comments and uh I promise you there will be some very interesting things and um, we we do have several other cameras and stuff and we'll do more cute stuff for you but um, once again we're living out of boxes so I hope you enjoyed our video I hope you uh, get a kick out of how, uh, how our chicken house is coming along we did not use a design so it's not the perfect chicken house but uh, we actually kind of built it on demand we kind of just design as we go not a good way to go makes for lots of good arguments between me and sherry <laughs> it's, it's quite funny so anyway uh, uh let's put it this way we've been going to home depot a lot so have a great day guys thanks for watching please subscribe hit the little bell and make sure you're notified whenever we do a new videos talk to you later bye thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.